Member Burnaby North. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Before COVID, I used to host monthly coffee meetings in my community office. I miss those meetings. They anchored me as a representative in the life of my community and gave me confidence that we were on the right track. Last Saturday, we were able to restart our coffee meetings. Now we meet by Zoom, and I'm happy to say that a lot of new faces have joined us. And as you can imagine, we had the same conversation everyone in BC is having right now. We shared anecdotes about people and businesses who just might not be following Dr. Henry's guidelines. And we asked ourselves, whose job is it to enforce COVID compliance? That is an important conversation because it acknowledges that so much of the polite behavior we take for granted, like shaking hands, sharing food, crowding up to make more room for others, may no longer be appropriate. It also encourages us to reflect on how we internalized social norms in the first place. How in the age of COVID do we consciously and deliberately change behaviors that are largely unconscious? How do we make it second nature to maintain a distance of six feet from those outside our bubble? How do we remember to disinfect our hands after we've touched a door handle or pushed an elevator button? How do we, we remember to take face masks with us when we go out? And then there's the question of enforcement. Do we start by issuing tickets and imposing penalties in order to change behavior? Or do we go there only as a last resort when voluntary compli compliance and our sense of the greater good isn't equal to the threat? How we answer those questions might very well define us as a society or redefine us. In choosing a path forward, let's be motivated more by love than by fear. Thank you.